YouTube, what is up? It's AD with US Squads. Hope you guys are having a kick-ass day. Today we are going to just do a quick unbox of a Night Force scope. It's the 7x35x56 Attacker F1. Pretty beefy optic, large magnification range, good for competition shooting, hunting. It's on the bigger side, so unlike the SHV, which I think is more for the hunter uh, this is a tactical type competition type scope so if you've seen any of my other videos PRS stuff you'll see that I still have the 5x25 by 25 by 56 F1 attacker uh, just I decided to get the higher magnification model for a few reasons we'll go over that at the end of the video but uh, right now I just want to show you guys what is in the box and how it's packaged so you guys can get a sense in case this is something you might be interested in uh, it's 2018 I've had this optic for almost a year, but wanted to just show you guys this again. So here we go, model C570. Uh, there's four different types of reticles. I decided to go with the Mil R reticle. It's something that I'm familiar with and used to. So right there, you'll see the Mil R. Um, the different reticle options are more reticle, Mil R, Mil C, which is a competition floating crosshair, floating dot type reticle, and the Tremor 3. So you're more than welcome to Google those uh, reticles to decide on what uh, best suits you. Of course, you can get this in MIL or MOA. Um, so those are your options. I decided to go with MIL because that's what I shoot. That's what I'm used to. My friends shoot uh, MIL type uh, optics, so we talk the same language. There's no conversions for us. We just can we can call out our corrections, and everybody understands what's happening. I'm just not smart enough to convert that on the fly. So mill reticles are pretty much on all my optics with the exception of my Trigicon AccuPower which is a 1x8 that's on my AR for 3 gun but that's a different video. Alright let's uh, go ahead and show you guys what's in the box. Alright in the box uh, I think the retail on this like at Optics Planet it, it, it's about $3200 um, give or take. So uh, you can Google that. I don't know exactly how much I paid. I tend to just block it out of my mind and just not think about it. So, all right. So we got some packaging here. <clears throat> Looks like some, you know, a manual that's going to cover a few different models. The 4x16, F1, 5x25. So this looks like because this was fairly new, they just repackaged the same one, they don't have a 7x35 manual. That could probably change now with it being about a year past. Um, more stickers and swag. We're gonna have some parts you don't wanna lose. So these yellow and orange envelopes, you don't wanna misplace these because they're gonna have a few things. Uh, they're gonna have a, a windage turridge uh, thing to protect your threads. I'll talk about that in a second. And they're going to have a little throw lever, uh, PTL power throw lever that's included that you don't have to buy, uh, also included here. So you can install that and I'll show you guys. It's actually already installed so we'll show you what it looks like in just a moment. We're going to have a sunshade which I never use but it's there. Another Night Force sticker and let's see if I can just show you what guys. Oh, you'll, this is always the fun thing. A little um, cleaning cloth little just a little cleaning cloth a little microfiber cloth that goes to your key ring or you can put on your range bag make sure your lens is clear clean and then here's the bad boy right here success so attacker 7x35 look at these turrets awesome oh hear that Woo. all right so um, I kind of want to show you guys and compare uh, with the 5x25 so you can see the size difference. It actually only is a few ounces heavier. So I'm actually going to do a side-by-side -side comparison in a second. But uh, this optic has been actually mounted on my 22 rifle uh, for the past year. And the reason behind that is the parallax focuses down to, can you see that? 10 meters. How's that? So in my 22 match, um, we shoot from 25 to 210 yards and an optic to be able to focus down to 10 meters, I can actually uh, use this beefy scope for my 25 yard shots. And when we have very small targets at 75 yards, that 35 power magnification is 
comes in very, very, very handy. So that's it right there. Um, if you've known Night Force or looked through them, they're pretty. They're uh, the glass is very clear. It's, in my opinion, top notch. Is it a Schmidt and Bender or, you know, a higher end optic? Um, I think it comp it's very competitive with the kind of the Collis and entry level Schmidt and Benders. <laughs> I, maybe I'm blind, but I've looked through many of my friends as Schmidt and Benders and it looks very similar to me. Um, clarity and, cl the clarity of the glass is pretty amazing, um, even in really bad weather because we use these to go hunting too. So this uh, windage cap is just a cap you can remove. And if you want to mess around with your windage, which I don't do, I actually do hold. So this windage adapter, um, remember that yellow envelope has a little thread that you can screw on there to protect these threads here if you don't if you don't want to use the cap but typically I just use the cap and I'll just hold for wind if I need to so that's the cap that goes on there so here's the digilume you press that button and you'll get your illumination I doubt the camera will be able to see it very good but it's there if you hold the button it turns to red to green and and if you just tap it once it'll shut off Okay, very very cool optic. Now, what's uh, the only time I've used my illumination is during the hunts, uh, early or late hunts in the day, early in the day, and then also we have an indoor range that that is a hundred yard range that I like to zero my guns in, and I can't see the reticles are black. You can't see their crosshairs down the range through this little tunnel. Maybe I'll have a video I can show you guys what that tunnel looks like, but. Um, yeah, so the Illumina reticle is huge when it comes to shooting indoors because you can't see the black crosshairs. So I'm going to show you guys what this looks like compared to the 5x25 and we'll uh, switch to that video right now. The optic, next to it you can see it sticks out a little bit more, a little bit longer. But it is literally a few ounces heavier so that's so those who are worried about weight um, if you're really really worried about weight you probably don't want this optic anyway it's just a beefy beefy scope but you can see that uh, the rifle that I have here has a carbon fiber stock carbon fiber barrel um, yeah this rifle weighs 12 pounds with the scope so it's not awful I mean if Obviously, if you build it right, um, you can have a fairly right, light rifle. It's not an eight-pound gun, you know, but 12 pounds hauling around the mountains, I've done it. Miles and miles, no big deal. It's not that heavy. So, yeah, this has a little bit less uh, elevation and windage adjustment than the 5x25. So, I'm going to just tell you the difference right now, and then I'll post a little screen shot of this. Of course, this optic is going to have the features that you'd expect from Night Force. Um, you know, high-end HD, high dispersion glass. You're gonna have it multi-coated. It's gonna be waterproof, fog-proof, etc. It's gonna have a zero-stop function, which is pretty important if you're messing with your turrets a lot. It's gonna have digilum, so you're gonna have an illuminated reticle, two colors, green and black. And so the difference is, is basically that 10 meter focus. You can just, you know, for a 22 match, it's just a big deal for us. Um, also, as far as the elevation difference, um, you're looking at on, like I'm just going to go MOA on, on the 5x25, you have 120 MOA um, range of adjustment versus 100. So the 7x35, versus, you lose 20 MOA on the elevation. On the windage, you actually lose 20 MOA also. 60 MOA on the 7x35, but you have MOA, 80 MOA on the 5x25. Um, as far as I shoot out to a thousand yards, I've never had any problems with the elevation. Plus, I actually have a 20 MOA rail built into a lot of my guns, including my 22, which is a little bit overkill. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, not much else going on I mean um, there's you know there's nothing that you guys can't google and check out but let me give you one last 360 degree tour of this scope so you guys can check it out and this one's set up in mills as I told you so each click is 0 
zero stop function a lot of 56 millimeter oh uh, one thing to note guys also is these attackers 5x25 and the 7x35 is a 34 millimeter tube uh, so you will need 34 millimeter rings to make this work so a lot of the scopes out there are 30 millimeter so you guys will need to make sure that you get 34 millimeter rings if this is the optic that you want to buy um, I didn't make the mistake originally but I had a buddy who bought all the stuff and he, and he came over to have me help mount it and lo and behold rings didn't fit because they were 30 millimeter so that's one last thing to think about alright guys I'm gonna mount this onto my 22 so I'll show you guys the video of the 22 actually let me show you the 22 this is a uh, CZ455 with a 20mm dip rail, a Manners stock, a Leisure barrel, 20 inch threaded with a Silence Co uh, suppressor. Uh, pretty sick setup. Uh, very, very accurate 22. Uh, can do very, basically a one shot hole at 25 yards and then decent groups at 100. But you know, the 40 grain bullet starts to float pretty fast at 100 yards. So a lot of stuff's happening. But very, very accurate 22 rifle. I use match ammo for it. So a lot of fun. So I'm going to actually mount this using the M10 rings from, from American Rifle Company. I'm actually going to do a video on this setup here. Um, if you look on my match gun, you can see that the arc rings are already installed. Um, typically I use spur mounts, but uh, a lot of... I've been switching a lot of things around. I'm, I, I like the spur mounts a lot, and I'm probably, once I get the right model, I'm probably going to go back to it but for the 22 I will use um, the M10 rings they're about 175 bucks but uh, we'll talk about that in a second okay alright guys thanks for watching any questions or comments um, I absolutely love this optic it is great I love the 5x25 I love by the 7x35 that's why I bought pretty much the same scope with more magnification um, and so great night force I've been really happy with them uh, for over the years they just build great optics. There's a lot of great companies out there, guys. So do your research. Find out what you like. But hopefully this video gives you a little bit more insight if you're considering this particular optic. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys soon. You guys have a great day.